Hey guys, good morning. It's Stephen Dunn with Core Therapy and Pilates. I'm the founder for, uh, of Pilates for PTs. I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. And today I just want to go over a quick little message of some, uh, basically a story that I had, a uh, conversation I had yesterday. Um, my new PT, Andy, that's working with us, he and I were having a conversation yesterday on Thanksgiving and we were talking about, I was telling him about some, um, my, some of my first jobs as a kid. And my very first job as I had, that I had as a kid, I was around 10 or 12 when I started umpiring Little League Baseball. And so I started umpiring uh, T-ball when I was 10 or 11. And by the time I was 15, 16, 17, 18, I was umpiring um, the 11 and 12 year olds, the 13 and 14 year olds. And my first, I did this for about a dozen years. I did it every summer for, for many years. Baseball was a big part of my life growing up. And what ended up happening is that I, transitioned over that time from getting paid per uh, game to becoming a salaried city worker. So I worked for the city. And by the time I became a salaried city worker, it was kind of an interesting thing happened. My mindset started to shift a little bit because I realized I was getting paid the same every week regardless if I umpired one game or if I umpired zero games. Um, if I umpired 20 games or if I umpired three games, I got paid the same amount every single week. And so it was one of those things at first, I was like, oh, this is amazing. I, I love it. But I started to get lazy. I started to get the city, the city worker mentality. And I started like finding ways to get out of working and having other young, other umpires, maybe younger guys that were getting paid per game to ump. And in my mind, I was like, oh, you go ahead and umpire. You get, you, you'll get paid if you ump. I'm going to get paid regardless. But it was really an interesting mindset. It was something very, um, I don't know, I think it was kind of not very healthy for me. Um, then I had another job. And again, I did that for about 12 years. And probably the last six of those years, I was on salary. And it was interesting. Now, I had another job every um, 4th of July and every New Year's Eve selling fireworks. Okay, now this was a very interesting job because my friend... I think it was his uncle or someone in his family that owned the, the firework business and he was managing this one tent and it was a big tent and it had an RV parked out front and someone had to be there 24 seven from the time it opened to the time it shut down. And it was about three weeks uh, for one of the seasons and it was about two weeks for the other season. Well, I got hired by my friend Ryan. He brought me in and he's like, hey, will you come work for me? I'm like, well, what are you gonna pay me? He goes, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? I goes, well, we're going to get paid depending on how much we sell. And at the end of the two weeks or the end of the three weeks, depending on how much we sold, we'll determine how much we make. And I was like, whoa, are we, are we going to make like a little money, a lot of money? He goes, it depends. He goes, if it's great weather and people come out and buy a lot, then we'll make a lot of money. If it rains for two weeks and no one's uh, shooting fireworks because it's crappy weather, then we may not make too much money. But it was kind of the life of a business owner. It was the life of an entrepreneur. It was very different than that city worker mentality. Um, and so I took the job and, and, and went for it. And there were some days where I was just sleeping in the RV overnight. And that was a pay rate that we didn't know what it was, but we got paid a little less to do that, we knew. And then that we would work to, to sell fireworks. But then all of a sudden, every dollar we sold, a percentage of that dollar was going back to us to pay Ryan to then pay all of us. And so, it was very interesting. Uh, some of those times were uh, very uh, profitable. Let me get that out of the way. Um, some of those um, experiences made a lot of money, a lot of money for a 15, 16, 17 year old kid, 18 year old kid. Um, other times I didn't make as much money. Again, I did it twice a year for probably four years. Um, and it was a very uh, interesting thing. And it taught me a lot about entrepreneurship. And it was, and I never had thought about this until yesterday when we had this conversation of how much I really learned about being a city worker and how I knew corporate America and corporate PT world was not for me really quick um, because of that kind of same mentality. And I knew being an entrepreneur, I never knew how much money I was gonna make. I never knew what I was gonna uh, make over the next few weeks, but I knew that was gonna make me happier. And I loved selling fireworks because it was engaging with people. I loved umpiring because I loved the sport, but being a city worker, kind of changed my mindset and taught me something I didn't like. Being an entrepreneurial, having an entrepreneurial mindset from the fireworks stand was a fantastic lesson. And as I opened my business years later, it was a, it was a mindset that I'd already kind of experienced, I'd already kind of understood. 
I have to perform in order to uh, get paid. I can't just show up and do nothing and get paid. So that's my story today. Are you a city worker? Or are you a firework salesman? I want to be a firework salesman, and I've been a firework salesman now for since 2001 as far as owning my business in the PT world, and I highly recommend you do the same if you want to be happy in this world, in this changing landscape of the healthcare profession, especially the physical therapy world. So that's my message for today. My name is Stephen Dunn. If you need some help with some coaching, I'm coaching a physical therapist at the time. I'm taking on some new clients. I have a new course that's about to launch in the new year that uh, if you'd like some more information, just send me a direct message, hit me up with a comment, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.